I'm going to be doing the 50 facts about me tag, which was popular probably like 5 million years ago, but I'm finally getting around to doing it. I love these kinds of videos because you can learn a little bit about either someone you don't really know or you're one of your favorite YouTubers, so that's why I decided to make it so I can even look back and see how I've changed over the next couple of years. So, I feel like everyone says this, but it took me a long time to figure out 50 facts about me. Don't really know how people just kind of like spew out 50 facts about themselves considering when you're in class and someone's like, tell me one fact about you. I'm just like, a, a what? A fact about me? There's nothing interesting about me. So, uh, uh, so then I always get like anxiety about it and then I never know what to say. So I always do something lame. But <laughs> hopefully this is not the case since I took like hours upon hours of thinking of 50 facts. Fact number one is I am a twin. Fact number two is I was born in California while my parents were on vacation there. To go off of the twin thing, I have an identical twin and her name is Rebecca. As a kid, I was obsessed with Lisa Frank, Pokemon, stickers, anything going in the dark, anything having to do with cats. If you had a question about a cat, I knew about them. I would even tell people at the zoo if they said, hey look at that leopard, and it was a cheetah. I was like, hey, that would be like, excuse you. That's not correct. In fact, I even still have my collection of stickers from when I was a kid. Be prepared for some 90s. I don't really know why I kept them. I don't know if I thought like, I'm gonna be a teacher in the future and I'm gonna need stickers to stick on kids' homework when they do great. Probably should have gotten these out beforehand. Okay, I got them. <laughs> so one of them is this really old Winnie the Pooh stickers. One's missing because I wanted to make sure I had at least one of each of them so I would take the duplicate stickers off of them. I have a lot of Lisa Frank ones. Get off of there. I have some like really old Lisa Frank stickers. I had a phase where I liked horses. I feel like every girl had a phase where they loved horses so I have like a bunch of horse stickers. My favorite Pokemon are Mew, Dragonair, and Pikachu. Growing up, I was very much a tomboy while my sister was a girly girl. As a kid, I refused to wear dresses or anything pink. I have violated both of those rules today as I have a dress on and I have pink sparkly fingernails. So, you do grow up eventually, or at least a little bit. I got my first pet tiger when I was five, and she grew up with me until my sophomore year of college. I currently have my second pet, Edgar, and I got him when I was 22. As an aside, they're both cats because I love cats. I've drawn basically as far as I can remember, and art is my passion. I could have skipped second grade. However, my parents didn't want me to leave my sister throughout grade school without at least someone that she knew. So they didn't allow me to skip second grade. I am five foot five and a half. I currently have three tattoos. Growing up, my childhood heroes were Robin Williams and Steve Irwin. Sadly, both died tragically. I love Disneyland and Disney World and I wish I could just live there. My favorite ride in Disneyland is the Indiana Jones ride and my favorite land at the Disney World Resort is Expedition Everest. In fifth grade, me, my sister, and our friend Hillary were so nerdy that we made a nerd book that included rules we had to follow in order to be considered nerdy. I still wish we had that book because it's probably hilarious to read over again. I do remember some things though. One nerd rule was that we couldn't say hot or cool unless it was referring to the weather. So we couldn't be like, ooh, that guy's hot. No. No, 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 no. Can't do that. My favorite animal is a clouded leopard, and I plug it's my spirit animal. My favorite TV shows are Avatar The Last Airbender and Sherlock. My favorite movie is Gattaca, but a close second is The Wolf of Wall Street. One of my favorite toys when I was a kid was my Jurassic Park Velociraptor, and I even still have him. This is what he looks like. He has a hole in a very improper area because when I was 
two, I think, when I got him, I would make him like hug me, so I would like stretch his legs so that he hug me, and that's why he has that awkward rip there now. <laughs> but he's very cool. I've never seen anyone have a Jurassic Park Velociraptor from the original Jurassic Park movie. I think it's so cute. Oh, you look as cute? Nah, I'm not gonna kiss him because I love the gun. If I could live in any fantasy world, it'd be Avatar The Last Airbender. And if I couldn't be the Avatar, I would be an airbender. My male celebrity crushes are Benedict Cumberbatch, Leonardo DiCaprio, Zachary Vengeance, and Chris Motionless. My female celebrity crushes are Kira Knightley, Margot Robbie, Emily Browning, and Lisa from the Veronicas. I'm one of those people who also has the fictional anime or character crushes. But mine include Shang from Muzan, Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid, Kogami from Psychopaths, Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender, Ed from Full Metal Alchemist, and Sebastian from Black Butler. I don't read much, but my favorite books are the Harry Potter series and the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. My favorite book characters are Sherlock Holmes and Elizabeth Salander. My personality type is INTJ. INTJ stands for Introvert, Intuition, Thinking, and Judging, and I'll leave that link to that Briggs Meyer quiz that I took down below. I love tea. A lot. I don't really know if I have a favorite tea, but I do like black tea a lot, and the tea I always go back to is Earl Grey, so if I had to pick one, my favorite would probably be Earl Grey. I didn't get my first kiss until I was 19. I graduated from college with a Bachelor's of Science degree in Environmental Earth Science. I'm currently trying to write a book, however, I haven't been doing very well keeping up with it lately. If I could work for any company, I'd work for Pixar. My favorite YouTubers include Lita, or formerly known as Hi the Bear, Little Tea Fox, Toxic Tears, Markiplier, Charlotte in Japan, Rachel in June, Super Carlin Brothers, and Made You Look. The first country I visited outside the United States was Egypt. If you guys want like a story of me being there and what some things I got there, it was a long time ago so things are a lot different now, but if you would like a kind of story of my time in Egypt, let me know. Other countries I want to visit are England, Sweden, Japan, and Germany. My favorite bands are Avenged Sevenfold, Motionless in White, Blue October, and Smashing Pumpkins. My all-time favorite song is The Wicked End by Avenged Sevenfold. It reminds me of something you'd hear if Tim Burton and a rock star like were mixed together and another song I came up with because it's awesome. The coolest trip I've ever had was working at Lava Vista National Monument in Tule Lake, California. My hobbies include hiking, rock climbing, art, making videos, sculpting, writing, pretty much all the more like artsy stuff. I just like being creative. I have a first degree black belt in Taekwondo. For some reason, whenever I choke on something, immediately after I sneeze. You do what you want, body. You do what you want. Look who came! It's Edgar! The friendliest cat there is. My favorite season is autumn. My favorite holiday is Halloween. I used to play the piano and guitar. If you want to see some really old embarrassing videos of me, that's what my YouTube channel used to just be. I would just upload guitar videos. If I could go back to any decade, I wish we could go back to the 90s. I feel like there was a good balance between technology and social life. Now I feel like everyone's just kind of consumed by their technology. And while it does have some great positives, I also feel like it does have negatives as well. And I thought the 90s had the perfect balance because it was there, but it wasn't there everywhere you went. I'm naturally a ginger. I just blow your soul right there. I do not believe in any religion, but I am spiritual. I believe in aliens and ghosts. I've never had an experience with aliens, but I've had some experiences with the supernatural, or what I consider to be the supernatural, because I have no other way of explaining them, as I am a pretty logical person. 
So if you guys want to hear some of my paranormal experience slash ghost stories, let me know. Alright guys, so that's everything in this video. I hope I got a 50 bucks. I'm pretty sure I even added one more in there. Let me know if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like learning a little bit about me. And now I have cat fur all over my face. Cat people problem right there. <sighs> Please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I try and put out a video every Thursday. If you want to be friends somewhere else, I'll link my other social media down in the description below. I also have my featured mug of the day down there. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and weekend. I will see you next time. Bye guys. I don't know why I always do this on my knees because I'm like an old person and I can never get up and turn off my camera afterwards. He's like the Garfield, but instead of being grumpy all the time, he's the happiest guy ever. Okay, bye.